February 23, 2004, the bodies of four male students of Yunnan University at Kunming were found lying lifeless in their dormitory. All four men were identified as biology students at the university. They had just returned nine days before on February 14, 2004 to find job positions following their impending graduation. On February 20, when school officials began, none of these men were found on campus and none of them was registered. It was three days later that a student residing in the same dormitory as these four men perceived a strange smell coming from one of the rooms. Inquisitively, this student opened the door and found the dead bodies of these four boys. Immediately, the police were contacted. Not long after, the name Ma Jia Zhu came up in the investigation as he was linked with the murder of these four boys. Now on the run, the police announced a reward of 200,000 yuan for anyone who could provide information leading up to Ma Jia Zhu's arrest. Later on, the reward was increased to 400,000 yuan. But who was Ma Jia Zhu? And why did he resort to brutally murdering four young university students in his dormitory? Hang tight as I unravel the story behind this mass murderer, Ma Jia Zhu. Born in 1981 into a very poor family in a remote village in Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region, Ma Jia Zhu was the pride of his family. He was first in his generations to be admitted into a tertiary institution. His father was proud of him and was so delighted that his son showed up a promise of a bright future. Back in primary school, Ma was one of the best students in his class. His class teacher recalls that he was brilliant at mathematics even though he did not excel in the Chinese language. Ma Jia Zhu was a lonely boy in childhood. He had two sisters and an elder brother, but according to his mother, Li Fen Ying, Ma had no close ties with his siblings. Both his father and mother were always preoccupied with farming as they worked hard to provide for the family. But in that time, Ma grew up to be alone, and even at school, he had very few friends. In junior high school, Ma continued to excel in his studies. He became the top student in his class, and he once came second in national physics competition. Ma won the admiration of his classmates and became very famous in his school. But despite all his brilliance and fame, Ma still had very few friends. In senior high school, Ma's academic performance dropped considerably. He no longer studied as hard as he used to. He began to suffer from an inferiority complex because of his poor background. This only drove Ma further away from associating with anyone at school. By the time Ma realized that his chances of attending university were becoming slim due to his poor academic performance, he could not bear it. Shaken by the thought of missing out of university, Ma ran away from school in November 1999. He was later found by the police after a few days. The event seriously affected Ma but also made him sit up and take his entrance exam seriously and eventually paid off. In September of 2000, Ma was admitted to Yunnan University. An excited man, Ma's father gave Ma all the family's life savings, which amounted to 6,000 yuan, to support him in his first year at university. Now in university, Ma decided to work on his social life. He made an effort to make friends at university, but it was futile. Rather than improve his social skills, Ma became more easily irritated and quarrelsome. In an interview with classmates of Ma, it was discovered that they all felt Ma had mental problems as he always found fault and picked fights with everyone. And as a result, they chose to distance themselves from him. Ma himself did not participate in any group activities with his classmates throughout the four years he was with them. Now in the city, and away from his junior and senior high schools, where he was a hero, Ma was no longer the special student in the class. The adultation and respect he received from his peers in junior and senior high school were replaced with disdain from his classmates who considered him an outsider. The experience of what once happened in high school began to take a hold of Ma again, but now, it was beyond just a mere inferiority complex. Ma became bitter. He became jealous of everyone around him, including his roommates. They had girlfriends and he didn't, and this only added to his jealousy. On one fateful night, Ma took it a step too far. It was the night of Valentine's Day, February 14, 2004. Ma's roommate had just returned from a romantic date with his girlfriend. Not long after arriving, Ma and his roommate got into a bitter argument. The argument degenerated into a fight and Ma unleashed the beast within him that had been lurking all the years since high school. In a mixture of emotions, anger, jealousy, bitterness, frustration, and pain, Ma beat his roommate ruthlessly. Now out of control, he picked up an axe and smashed his roommate with it, killing him instantly. 
Ma could not believe what had just happened, but this was just the beginning. Just as Ma scrambled around to conceal what he had done, a friend of his came by and discovered the body of his roommate. Ma saw red again. Immediately, he lunged at his friend and slaughtered him with an axe. Now in full beast mode, Ma proceeded to the room of the murder victim. On getting there, he used the axe to kill his friend's two roommates. Ma did this in an attempt to cover his tracks and sever any ties that could link him to the murder of his own roommate. But his plan was futile. It wasn't long after the bodies were discovered that Ma Jia Zhu's name came up in the investigation of the police. He became the number one person of interest. After being on the run for 21 days, the police found Ma in South China's island's province of Hanan on March 15, 2004. Ma's accounts of the killings was somewhat different from the picture painted by those linked with the events. When asked by the police for the motives behind the murderous spree, Ma claimed that the four boys had accused him of cheating during a card game. But the police were not really bothered about what triggered the killings. They found their killer and they wanted him to pay. On April 24, 2004, Ma Jia Zhu was sentenced to death and on June 16, 2004, he was executed by the firing squad. This is the story of the isolated boy who became a murderous adult.